pray our great and kind heavenly father we praise you dear god for you have given us another privilege to come to you through prayer in this uh, wonderful day happy day Sabbath day dear God Lord we would like to surrender our life unto you at this moment cleanse us send us your Holy Spirit that these prayers that we will be be offering to you the heavenly Father be acceptable in your sight. So dear Lord, be with us now as we pursue to our pride of time. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the privilege to pray for Ukraine and Russia for the whole week. Uh, we know that you are hearing our prayers and uh, that you are in the midst of these people who are currently suffering. Please, Father, may this war or this conflict end as soon as possible time and in your perfect time. We thank you, Father, for always being here with us and ready to hear our prayers. Jesus name. Today, Heavenly Father, we would like to continually bring unto thee the prayer petitions of our dear brothers and sisters for the whole country of the tree, Lord. That is not a good thing for our church. They are experiencing, oh Lord, that hardship, especially most of them, they can really sleep well, oh Lord. Children are all affected. Innocent people are all being died over God with this bad experience that they had over God with the war between Russia and Ukraine. So, Lord, we would like to continually ask for more strength, more courage, more comfort unto our brothers and sisters for Ukraine. So, also, Lord, with the country of Russia, we believe, oh Lord God, by your grace and mercy, through your love, you will always abide with these two countries, all of the leaders. Peace and unity will always reign over God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear God, we have here a special prayer request for the North Philippine Union Conference Team. We're scheduled for an evangelistic campaign to be held in Baguio City. To their heavenly Father on March 20 to 26. Lord, four of the, among the team were not vaccinated yet. We are praying for your grace because you have a thousand ways, their heavenly Father, to grant these four members to enter into. They are seated in heaven with Father for a holy cause. And may you also prepare the hearts and mind of your servant, as well as the people that we will, they will be hearing their God for the gospel of truth. May you prepare their hearts through the Holy Spirit that they may be able to hear the gospel of salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we would like to bring unto thee the prayer request of Brother Joseph Ramakar and requesting the Lord God for her heart. I am not feeling well. He's not feeling well, oh Lord God. So he is continually asking the Lord for your divine interventions, especially for his soul and what comes, God, or whatever things that will come unto him, O oh Lord God. 
may thou continually to deliver him and above all dear father help him to surrender his life unto thee his thoughts his words and actions will always glorify you O lord god continually to intervene and to deliver him O lord god from the snares of the enemy thank you so much dear father for your amazing love with our brother joseph we praise thee unto the O lord Um, our sister Jessica Antigua is pleading and is asking for your mercy and grace because she has been experiencing uh, troubles when she started to accept you as her Lord and Savior. She is also requesting prayer for her health, for her children and family. And uh, yes, Father. Accepting you is sometimes not that easy, especially for families who are not yet ready to receive you. And so, Father, please strengthen Sister Jessica. Um, help her to be able to um, endure whatever it is, whatever challenges it is, that she's experiencing when she started to accept you. There are obstacles, Father. It is not a bed of roses because you said narrow is the way to, your, to life. But give her also, Father, the opportunity to reflect you and to, um, to show you to, their fam to her family and may your light shine in their family, Father. I am also praying for uh, the rest of her maybe circle of friends, not only among her family members, and may she be able to um, endure everything and with uh, uh, fullness in her heart that what she accepts and what she accepted has been and will be the light and the love because you, Jesus Christ, is our Lord and our Savior. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray God. We are praying for the ongoing business of Janelma Haynes, dear Father. We believe that you are the source of all blessing. And you have entrusted each one of us as your good stewards, their father. Uh, we are praying for this business of Janelma that uh, you prosper this business over. This might be the source of their living. Lord, this, this business may be an instrument or a center of influence that through this business, dear God, people would come to them may also recognize and see you in this uh, child of yours, their heavenly father. Sister Janam, so Lord, pour out your blessing and to this uh, business or the unborn business of your child and bless each one who have come to her. And may they also recognize that you are the owner of all the blessings. So let them also know and understand to return what is due to you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Heavenly Father, we would like to humbly ask for your leaders as well with Simeon Tebe. He is asking, O oh Lord, God, for a prayer for him and his relationship and also in his work in 
oh Lord God, uh, may thou continually uh, guide him so that he will have a per permanent partner or a partner in the missionary work, oh Lord God, in life. So may thou continually provide uh, for him as well as, well as with his family, oh Lord God. I'd like to continually ask and humbly ask for your divine leadings with our brother Simon's heart's petitions, oh Lord God, heart desires, that in due season you will answer all of these petitions, oh Lord God, and he will be, he will continually to serve you in the fullness of his heart, diligently and faithfully, oh Lord God. We praise thee, and oh Lord, thank you so much. Sister Marisa is asking prayer for her son, Adam Wilson Aurelia David, who is scheduled to take an examination in the National Police Commission and Civil Service exam. Um, this father is a request of a mother who only wants the best for her child or for her son. And uh, may this opportunity, may this examination be passed by Adam with flying colors and may you guide him and may you direct him um, to serve in the best capacity uh, when the time comes that he passes the exam and he'll be able to serve the government service and uh, uh, may he be able to share you among her co-workers as well. Give her, I uh, give him Adam the clearness of mind, the readiness of his mind as he takes this examination. May he be able to uh, remember and recall all the things, all the important lessons that uh, he has been reviewing for this examination, as well as the skills needed, and uh, that eventually uh, will. Uh, 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 that eventually he will gain or he will pass this examination. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity that you will give to this uh, brother of ours. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear God, Brianna is praying with us for the brother and our three sisters are torn apart by the processing of their deceased father's state. Sometimes the enemy are doing well to separate relationship. But we come to you at this very moment, their heavenly father, for these siblings that they may be able to understand the love for them, the love of a father, and the value of this state, the heavenly father. You own this heavenly father, but we are just a steward. So through the Holy Spirit, may you let them understand that love is more than treasure on earth. Help them to recognize that there is more than enough treasure in heaven you have prepared for each one of us. So through the messenger, may you reconcile them their heavenly father. Speak into the phone and allow them to be reunited again. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Father in heaven, we would like to bring also to the throne of grace and mercy, the prayer request of Shelly. She is asking our Lord God for healing for her sister-in-law who was recently diagnosed with a stage four cancer and also with her brother's strength as they 
he is battling onward with wicked uh with this wicked disease so lord we'd like to continually ask for your mighty healing hands to touch shelly's sister-in-law and also her brother may they continually heal them oh lord god and help them to surrender their lives unto thee that they can continually to serve you oh lord god for the rest of their lives oh lord use them mightily in sharing your life help them to be a salt as well with all the people that they are are going to encounter their heavenly father especially as they're going to have this process of healing in the hospital and continually ask for their faith it will always grow and help them, and for them to continually surrender their lives for your service thank you so much dear father for hearing our prayer in jesus name amen Our sister Hal Isa Sancho is uh, praying for members of her family. First and foremost, her mother, who is who seems to be um, who seems to be having financial problem, as uh, it seems that she is uh, in debt, and some of her properties are uh, uh, maybe they are thinking of selling their properties to be able to pay their debts and uh, also she's asking for her son Alejandro um, with regards to his um, spirituality and his faith father also for uh, maybe this is um, Carolina or maybe this is uh, a girlfriend, a uh, member of a uh, close family member or a close uh, friend of one of them. Uh, Sister Isa is also asking that, apart from Alejandro, that Carolina may also become a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Uh, she's also asking for herself to protect her and to bless her against her problems and her enemies. She also has this um, debts, dear father, and uh, she has been uh, unemployed for two years already. Um, she wants this job very dearly because of, not only because of the financial situations that they are in, but mainly because they, she needs to sustain her family. And lastly, for her cousin Tito, who is uh, addicted to drugs, father, these are real problems that is encircling families, especially Sister Hal Isa Sanchez's family. And in these trying times, we know that you are carrying each and every one of them from the mother to the son and to her and including also their cousin. Lift them up, Father. We only have you and we only want you. And please be in their hearts not to become complacent, not to become um not worried but give their full trust that this faith the faith that knowing that you are there with them and for them will get them through be it about their faith be it about their finances jobs and even the addiction father all of this will come to pass because you have shown us through your word and through the miracles that you performed, through the miracles that you did when you were with us on earth. Everything is, is possible. Everything is possible. And so, Father, we are claiming that you will help, you will guide, you will sustain, and they would be victorious because we know and we pray this in Jesus' name. And so, Father, 
as we close also this prayer session for this Sabbath day, um, it is indeed a special day for us. You have give, been with us every step of the way for the whole week. And we are looking forward, Father, for this special day where we can rest with you, where we can be rejuvenated with uh, the spirit that and the gift that you've gave us uh, since creation. Keep us, dear Father, in your bosom and let us um, and let us share you with others, not only physically, but even virtually, Father, even online. Make us instruments of your peace and your love. And um, before we end, uh, I am especially asking for special blessings for all the members of the families of the people who are in this war room. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Once 